what is up guys it is globe here and i haven't done one of these videos in a while and i'm proud to present you a uh, kind of restarting the series but we're going to be doing the best class setup weapon on the mtar x now this is actually the best smg in call of duty ghost based on statistics and in my opinion because i've used it a lot this is actually the best weapon i said the vector crb was but actually this weapon is better and now I just want to say I've gotten a beast gaming computer and now what I'm able to do is I'm able to actually render these videos in such more better quality and don't forget to 720p the shiz I'm using Sony Vegas if you're wondering got this new awesome computer so if you guys could 720p this this would be amazing and then you can actually see the quality and the color correction I used. But we're not here to talk about this, we're here to talk about the MTAR X. Now moving over to the MTAR X, mainly people use this in competitive, uh, which is like MLG tournament or uh, Clan v Clan, but we're going to be uh, describing this, and I'm going to be giving you guys the attachments and the perks, and it is actually real well combined for you public match people. Now on screen, as you saw before, this is actually the class setup I use for the MTAR X. We have full grip, muzzle break, we don't have a secondary, we have C4, no tacticals, we have all these perks and all these assault streaks, but I'll be breaking those down later for you guys, and uh, we'll be getting those down later in the video. But moving on to the attachments we actually use for the MTAR X, we use full grip and muzzle break. Now you definitely want to use full grip because what this essentially is going to do is this is obviously going to give you less kick on this weapon. And as you could just tell from all the gameplay, this weapon does still have a lot of kick with full grip. So it's very essential and I've noticed me actually doing much better attaching full grip to this weapon. Now moving over to my second attachment, which was muzzle break. And now muzzle break and full grip is actually well perfect and well combined together. Basically what this is going to allow you to do is muzzle break is actually going to allow the range and damage on this weapon because SMGs don't have much range. Having the longer range actually will make it more better, will make it more accurate and you'll actually have more damage which means you'll be able to kill your enemy in less bullets. Now moving over to the perks, we have ready up, marathon, quick draw, scavenger and focus. Now we're going to use ready up because while we're going to be using marathon we need ready up and what this is going to allow us to do is after we sprint we're going to let our weapon ready up faster and we also have quick draw so with these three perks combined you're going to be running really fast and you'll be able to zoom into your enemy before he will making you have an obvious advantage over him and you'll be able to drop your kill really easy and i forgot to mention this before but this is actually a rush class so you're going to be rushing around the map using the weapon but moving over we do have scavenger and you want to use scavenger because this weapon doesn't have much magazine or much ammo and uh, scavenger does actually really help you save your life and also another tip is to actually pick up a weapon while using this because you'll be low in ammo uh, ammo like every time but moving on we also have focus now focus is going to allow us to do as i said in every video is while you're being shot basically you flinch and flinching means that uh your gun's going to be taking off all the screen and you won't be as accurate and you'll die really quickly so attaching focus will actually definitely help you uh, survive your gunfights and actually win more gunfights with this weapon and now as you saw before I did have C4 and now I like to use C4 while I'm rushing because if someone's on a flag on domination or there's a group of people in a room I just like to lob it in there and just C4 people note that you'll only actually get one C4 while doing it so you got to be careful and use it wisely and also for my assault streak I had the average satcom guard dog and uh can't believe what it's called what was it again sentry gun that's right I had sentry gun sentry gun's actually really fast because I usually like to use kill streaks that I can place down and still get more gun kills and also Riley is a really good kill streak while using this weapon because it's going to be following you around and because you're rushing around the place he will kill unexpected enemies behind you and in front of you and I just have the average satcom so I can help my teammates actually survive so guys, if you did like this video, hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button below, tell me down below which other best class setup weapons I could actually use. I noticed my commentary's gone in a little bit better because I've been using a different program, so that'd be amazing if you guys could leave a like, leave a comment down below uh, for more videos I should do, and I'll see you guys later. Globe out.